Hello, my name is Ripples, and we're back on Super Auto Pets once again, and I have a dream, and that dream requires us winning a game. And also, getting a chicken. The chicken is the plan, and that's what I want. We can get a beetle, we can get an ant, we're gonna roll one time, and get another beetle. I'm not a huge fan of the beetle, but hopefully we can make it work. We're gonna be the, uh, the skilled tentacles. No, no comment. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a draw. Yeah. I was playing, um, 1v1s with my friend, and I got a chicken to the point where it had, I think, I'm trying to remember. It was like everything in my shop was 30-30, which that, uh, made me, uh, absolutely crazy and want to make a chicken work in an actual game. Is it going to work? Probably not. You just need so much time to get it going, but hopefully we can get like a level two chicken like pretty fast if we do get one. And I think uh, the secret to making a chicken work is getting wins early. Love a blowfish. I love another blowfish, I'll be honest. Uh, let's do it like this. Two blowfishes is pretty nice. If we can get a hedgehog early, this could be pretty nice for some early wins. Thank you, Mosquito, for being absolutely beautifully clutch. He, he draws that as that lucky son of a gun. They just keep pushing our hand to the moon, I guess. A tabby cat is definitely better. And then a single Mosquito. I know the Mosquito did clutch for us last turn, so I'm not giving it the respect it needs, but it's fine. A lot of roosters early. Boom. We actually lose this. I was looking at it, I thought we won, but. That's beautiful. That's some good stats for now. Honestly, getting these two snails to give us a couple wins. We don't eat meat on anything. So let's roll. A swan I'm pretty interested in. A rabbit I'm pretty interested in too. I think the swan is more important if we're going to try to run chicken late. Garlic's also really important. We have great stats though. I don't like this whale play he's going for. Especially with this uh, beautiful puffer fish. I mean technically he's actually putting in work and he actually beats us? I'm a little offended by that one. We're down to five lives. We really need to cannot lose anymore if we're trying to trying to run the chicken late. We do need to level up so we can get the chicken as early as possible. Ooh, level two is important. Do we sell? What do we sell for the? I guess we got, uh, honestly we'd sell the tabby cat. I know the swans be important for the chicken. Uh, the chicken later. And I know I'm like swearing up and down that we're gonna get a chicken, and we're probably not. I gotta pill this ant at some point. Freeze the snail in case we lose. Um, no, we're not pilling the ant next turn. I thought about it. That's not a good idea. We look fine. This should be a win. Okay, we win again. Okay, round we should. Finally, two two wins. Doesn't feel great. Get rid of the snail. Dolphin works temporarily. I I need an ant though. I I'll do that. You know I really don't want to. We're looking for an ant. We get a little three. That's be pretty important. I just desperately want to make this chicken work. You know. Beautiful hit by the- Oh my goodness! Our puppet fish has amazing aim, bro! Look at him go! Get this one leveled up. I guess we're gonna get a head start on our chicken ways. Can we not get an ant though? Like... 
Nice. Not rain hellfire. If it Oh my gosh, we killed a dog too. We're killing the game right now, boys. Four? Four wins. Um I'm about to give up on this bison. Next roll is gonna be an ant, I guarantee it. That's just how it be. A three, a one, a one, a two, a four. Say goodbye to you. Probably gonna run a uh, uh, start running a poodle next turn. A leopard early, it's pretty good. But I think the poodle is more important right now. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna can, and I'm a poodle. Four, a two, a one. Yeah, they're all different. So let it rain. We got a scaler now. I don't think the chickens in the play uh, in the cards anymore. Sadly, but we can get some action out of our pufferfish here too. So that's kind of nice. I think the tankage is going to cause him to get a draw from the turtle. Well played by him. I'm getting more and more scared the later we get into this though. He leveling up a pufferfish, I guess. I don't think the dolphin's around for this world and I think we, we freeze a bison one more time. I gave it one chance. It just didn't work out as soon as we get the chocolate. Okay, chocolate you. Roll me twice. Hear me out. Level 2 doggy. An octopus is kind of interesting. Yeah, nothing for now. We're running a 4 squad. It's a pretty it's a pretty wide 4 squad though. I like how this is going to work out. We're versus the same guy actually. 4 kid. Last time we drawed. And I think it's going to happen again. Which is fine. Hopefully we don't verse him again. Um, can we again? Like, we're looking to hit it at some point. I just don't know where. A tiger on this pufferfish would not be an insane idea. Let's roll, though. Making me really regret uh, ditching the dolphin. Can we? Thinking about a pufferfish, but a 9-5 a nine five deer is not bad. Uh, let's take an 11-7. Doesn't really do almost anything for us. We don't get clapped because of it though, which is kind of nice. We actually win? That was a kind of a scary build though. But running a cricket this late is kind of useless. What's our least... What's our worst unit? The deer. For sure. We're kind of too late to pill the end. Like, we don't have a lot of pivot potential. So I guess it's send the pufferfish to the moon. We're at five wins. We're not doing awful by any means. So we're just not doing great. I think this is where we pivot. But we want a level two dragon. So like. We need something this turn though. So maybe just throw the dragon in the front. And then any second now we're getting rid of this one. So that's a 1715. It's not like we're throwing out a bad unit. That's a super strong hedgehog. Holy baloney. He's a hedgehog me again. Oh my. The gorilla synergizes great with the hedgehog too. The, the, dude, he just outplayed us. What a cool and interesting build. Respect to him. Okay. Sell the swan. Buy a ladybug. Sell a ladybug. Buy a beaver, sell a beaver. Do you notice a trend going on? Roll me. As I said, buy a bluebird, sell a bluebird. So you have a last buy, sell. So let's just throw in a level three blowfish. Run a four squad. That's a little risky. We probably should have probably should have kept a something out there just in, as a just in case. I'm going to say the level 3 blowfish helps us in some type of way. Wow, he kills the guy at the stake. That's beautiful. And now this blowfish is going to go insane. Especially being the uh, level it's at. It kill cracks the melon armor. Boom. Boom. This works beautiful. We have an insane scaling team. 
Okay, a little buy sells. Honestly, make it a level three ant. T Rex is cool. Not what we need though. Honestly, just throw some garlic on you. We're running a four squad again. It's kind of risky. Especially if we get like a uh, scorpion sniped. I thought I jinxed it. He's running a four squad too, but a very, very strong four squad. We draw? We definitely need melon armor on something though. That's something I definitely noticed. That kind of gets rid of our scaling though. I kind of like the dragon being around. But I think about uh, uh, a really cool. Uh, what's Fallen Button? Probably use. Let's do a little bit of this. I think we're rolling twice right here. We're looking for melon armor. We don't get melon armor. We finally get the chicken. That chicken was so. It took so long to get the chicken. So a scorpion in the front. Uh, we're actually freezing the ladybug. There's no way we're pipping into a chicken. A chicken dragon bill would be really cool though. What a snipe, baby! I think that wins us the game. Oh my goodness, dude. We just creamed that guy with the, the, the 1000 IQ play. Where were we at? Seven wins? I'm feeling pretty good now. We gotta get rid of the Scorpion just to make sure everything is to 50-50. But we dead. We got the stats. We got the stats for sure. We have no equipment. And now we're starting to get the equipment. A level three ant in the front now. A little buy sell. And I guess an eagle. An eagle or scorpion protection or something. Just don't have a hippo in front. That'd be kind of tragic. Oh my gosh, he almost had the hippo in the front. That's kind of funny. This team Mercs is, by the way. I mean, not really. Like, it was kind of close. Our Bluffish is not really doing anything anymore, but we're at eight wins. A little bit of a comeback, I would say. Give me some tier ones, and then everything can get the 50 50. We're getting really close to 50 50 everything. Now we're rolling for melon armor. Or something that can give us some utility in the front. Nothing really gives us utility in the front. I'm going to say we go like Cheetah in the front. And maybe that, that gets us there. Like it'll break maybe someone's melon armor if we get lucky. Or if anything it'll stop a scorpion. I mean, that kind of worked, I guess. I mean, uh, this actually turned out pretty great. And we're going to be at nine wins. Let's go, boys. Nine wins. Made a little bit of a comeback. I like it. Gotta give the turtle some jazz. Sell you. This gives everyone a 50-50. Now we're looking at... Maybe a turtle? We don't need stats. We're on turn 18. This is an extremely long grind. Uh, dude, the Scorpion went a bit big, but I rolled past it, and I think that will cost us the game. What if I did this? Like a little, like, in and out kind of joint? I don't know, the, now the Pufferfish has, gets his, no use out of its ability. Barely survived that. Oh my gosh, boys, the mistake doesn't even matter. We get a crispy W, baby. Let's go! Dude, 4 50 50s? That was an insane scaling build. Run, winning with a 4 squad? I don't know why this black turtle keeps popping up. But that's a W. And that's one of my longest wins. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like and comment and all that jazz. But hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!